All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of The Road to SSL in 3v3. We're on episode number 12 today, and I gotta find a new name for today's video. So let's look around on some of the last videos. All right, so we got some pretty good photos from this episode, uh, episode number 10. Let's look at some of the name recommendations and see what we got. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. No way. All right, I guess it's time to make Let's Go. I don't like this one. All right, so I have an idea of what I want to do. So this one looks perfect, actually. We've got some tires. Let's grab this photo. I'm going to make some some uh, Let's Go Mobile. All right, now it's time to grab a photo of myself. Um, I'm thinking uh, probably just this one because it's the, the side profile. And I already can see how bad this will look. So let's just jump right into it and uh, quickly put these two together. All right, now time to trim this up. Get, get my new haircut. All right, let's move these tires out of the way real quick. Uh, actually, while we do this, let's let's hide the face and let's get this tire. Let's select the whole thing. I'm thinking a white background might be perfect for this situation. Looking good, looking good. That's the wrong one. Get rid of that. Let's bring this back. Okay. Got to clean up the bottom a little bit before we make this final cursed change. <laughs> oh, no. It's like the baby, you know. Let's go. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> Every time I switch over to this account, it does that. I don't know why, but it just like levels me up a, t a crap ton because of the cloud sync. Anyway, now that we made the photo, thanks so much to JPZ for the recommendation. If you want to drop a comment in the video of the next profile picture and name, feel free to do so. I try to pick the most liked ones. Uh, but in the last episode, we were at Grand Champion 2 Division 2. Um, this is episode 12, like I said. We're moving up pretty quickly. We're now into the third highest rank of the uh, of the game. And I think we're re we'll be continuing moving up pretty quickly. We'll probably move into Grand Champion 2 Division 4 by the end of this video. Possibly even Grand Champion 3. That's sort of a pipe dream, though. We'll jump into the next game, see how it goes. And uh, hopefully we get three wins. Alright, first game. Yes, sir. We've got a... F oh, actually, not a full squad. we got a, a pair of people on the other team. Bit of a weird controller issue there. A good demo from the opponents already. So good start um, for them. Good try. Try to pinch my teammate. Good clear. Jane's last, so if he jumps right here, it could be really dangerous. Probably he's going to be a goal for them unless my teammate can get back. Good 50-50. Get a 50-50 with that guy. Lots of time. Not a great touch for my teammate. Kind of threw the ball away. Jane's going to get a clear. Going to grab the boost. Good save. Cosmo's going to turn on this, probably. Not sure what Janet's doing right now. Oh, wait, my teammate just pre-jumped with me. I think he did. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. <gasps> Bit of a messy start so far. Um, I thought Janet was going to turn and make a, a pass to me, and then when they backed off, as a goal. Um, I thought when Janet was upfield, he was going to pass it back, or she was going to pass it back to me. But they kind of just, like, went around really, really wide. And so far, I've been kind of confused whether or not I should go for a ball or not, because my teammates are, uh... <laughs> it's all good, Janet. Um, whether or not they're going to touch the ball or, or make a challenge or move up. So, a bit of a messy start off the kickoff as well because of the, uh, the controller issue. But, you know, I'm used to it at this point. It happens. Back off behind my teammate. Rotate behind him. Ooh, it's going to be good. Nice read by my teammate. Decent 50-50 as well. Uh, a bit of awkward. Bad throw away to the opponents again, but, uh, the opponent also threw the ball pretty, uh, pretty far away from, um his team as well. This boost might be stolen. Ooh, super awkward touches. We keep giving the ball away in, in really bad spots. Pop off the wall, see if I can get back to this. There we go. Actually, not going to touch that because it's going to go up to mid. Okay, never mind. This could be really bad. Decent. Oh, I thought my team was touching it. Oh, no. This is really rough, man. The roughest game I think we've had so far. Pop over one. There's double commits everywhere. You know, I'm recording at an, uh, like, middle of the day. I usually record at night when it's a little more sweaty. But, uh, so far it's been really messy. Can't really tell what my teammates want to do with the ball. It's been hard for me to read, uh, the touches. To bounce off nicely. One of my teammates. Decent. Grab the boost as well. Oh, Janet. No. <laughs> Chill. Oh, my. Close. I tried to read that miss. Teammates are just committing on things that, like, they really shouldn't be because there's, you know, someone on the ball before them. Make a touch to the side. Okay, I have no boost. So I'm going to get the back corner first. 
Big miss from uh, my teammate once again. Hopefully Janet can do something. They're just sitting up field doing nothing. They gotta make some challenges. Oi, 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 oi. Right, eight boosts. I'm gonna pop this downwards. Hopefully my teammate can be there. Good try. <laughs> oh boy, this is rough. This could be our first loss, actually. I'm feeling it. Good 50 50, though. Teammate's up. Good try, Janet. Teammate is up for that, even though it's like, like I've talked about this a lot in the last few episodes. When the ball is super close to the uh, the net like that, there's no reason to go up for that. Okay, two players up. Siani's last. End up missing the back corner boost. Hopefully, Janet can keep it in. And there we go. Nice finish. So, I mean, it's a bit rough, but we're, we're rough around the edges. We're making it work. Uh, bad clear from Must. It ends up going right to uh, Janet, which was a great clear across. A little bit of a tight angle to go for the shot. I tried to go a little bit higher on that, but I was afraid of an early challenge, so I just went as fast as possible. Bit of an awkward game, not going to lie, but we're making it work. Now that we're tied up, to be a little bit better. Big read from the opponent. Good speed. It was, it was going slightly to their side. Good save across, too. I'm going to bump their last. Give Janet some space. Good touch from GameStop to the moon. I haven't really gotten to stocks at all, but I thought GameStop was kind of over at this point. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stay with this with one touch. Go across towards the net. Good save. Teammate is going for that as well. Okay, just big commits from my team when it's on a ball that's already needing to be defended by the opponents. Gotta be a little bit careful with going for stuff when it's already on target. Especially when it's like right at the net. There's no reason to dive at it. Um, let's see if Janet gets in there. Decent touch. Teammate should go for this. Should be a shot towards target from Cosmo. Get a bump if I can. Go across, get the boost. Just trying to be annoying. Big throw away from the opponents. Should be clear. Stay with this off this touch. Make sure I try to pop it over. Janet should have a clear. Okay. Last thing I would have expected is for them to, that to be a boom on the floor. I think they could have probably uh, waited for the half volley. Got a big clear for me. Push on the backboard. Big commits again, but just want to get around the one player. See if Janet touches this. Good touchdown. There we go. Nice play in the last 12 seconds. Uh, great pass from Janet. Once, once again, though, it's just the inconsistencies and, and strange decision making that can probably differentiate these two players that are my team. I'm not playing the best by any means in this in this match since it is the first game of the day. But uh, as far as like decisions go, just strange, uh, strange rotations and stuff. Right here, someone needs to be jumping up. Probably could have been backboard instead of this touch, but it'll work out. I'll, ma I'll make it work. Could be open here as well. Oh, it's going to be in, but it's uh, obviously zero seconds. So well played. Not too bad of a game. A little bit awkward at the start, but we uh, recovered it and we got 16 points. So probably not a division up yet. Uh, but, you know, we recovered the uh, the start starting half and, you know, <laughs> I don't know. That was, a, that, was, that, was, that was quite a weird game, not going to lie. Let's move to the next one. I also realized that my settings were all messed up on the first uh, first game here. I like to put it all low when I'm doing competitive. Um, it helps out a lot. And also the frames per second, usually 240 or, or 360. Never uncapped because it can actually ruin your PC frames. Uh, it'll get all like tarry and stuff depending on, you know, what's going on with your PC. I'll probably go for 360 when I'm recording just to make it a little smoother. Um, oh, that's a lot better. Uh, I tend to feel like a, a slight difference uh, in how the game feels just depending on like the settings of the game. Uh, they can add a bit of timing or like difference in like delay between your uh, your touches and stuff. All right, now that we switched the video settings, it should be a lot better. It's a lot like uh, more crisp. It's a lot easier to read the, the ball and stuff. So let's uh, let's move into this next game, see how it goes. So far, a good possession off the kickoff. Pass back to my teammate. That worked out a little better than I expected it. Some bump. I'll grab the boost pad in front. See if Volko stays with it. Stay with this touch. Keep it soft. It's going to make it really awkward for the opponents to clear the ball out. He's waiting on the boost and just letting the ball go in our net. <laughs> okay, good. I thought he was going to just let that go in. He's waiting for the boost to the back. Over one. I'm going to bump this guy if I can. Good try. Good turn. Good touch as well. I'll back off. I want to conserve a little bit of boost so I can get back and get this full one. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> well, never mind. Watching the midfield. Teammates up. Good challenge. Might be awkward. Though. I, I ended up bumping it, which worked out. Wasn't sure if my teammate. This is always an issue of solo queue is whether or not your your team is going to make the touch. Ooh. All right, some space. Make a touch to keep the ball close. One of my teammates should hopefully clear this. Good try. Volko's got a lot of space now. He knows that. Really well played. Like the 50-50 too. I'm going to wait right here for the touch from uh, Guru. Good fake. Great shot too. 
Oh, good bump. This could be bad. Is it on target? It is. That was a good bump in midfield. Uh, my teammate also didn't make a make a touch when he needed to. Um, I think it was... Yeah, he made a clear down to the field. Good recovery, though. Almost made it back. But great play by, from Energy Risky to uh, get it back on the breakaway. So I'll move into the next kickoff here. Hopefully, we get a good 50-50. That's a good start. Good fake. One more. Good try. Almost beat the guy. Teammate is still moving back, so we have to try and recover the midfield here. Let him clear it. Now my teammate should have this. Should be around the one player. Could be in if I just shoot this. That guy committed from really, really far away, and we get a free touch off the sidewall. Um, once I see him die, like full boosting at the ball, I, it, it's pretty telegraphed what he's going to do. So I just make sure to pop around him first, and we get a free possession because of it. And the other players were still committing, uh, or committed to the last play. So I know that... Uh, um, oh, I almost shot that. Um, in that spot, I know I have a pretty good chance of getting the open goal once they've overcommitted. I'm getting a phone call in my pocket right now. Do I need to shut that off? I don't think I was getting back anyway. He says how, but I, I mean, he just didn't make a touch. So definitely need to make a touch to keep that ball safe. Good. A decent shot. Good space. I saw the ball pretty free off the, uh, the sidewall off that 50-50. Um, it's a little dangerous to go for because Schmed probably could have went a little bit faster, but I knew he was being a little bit hesitant, so I just went for it. Get a little bit of an air roll at the end, too, to get it on target. Quick behind with 12 boost. Decent. My teammate should have this, though. There we go, as I said. Wait for Schmed's touch or Guru with the clear. Good possession. Taking his time. Not a great touch, though, and that's going to be a free shot for Valko. Um, I like this the idea of doing this patience play here. Um, but then the second he panicked with this touch right here, yeah, that was not great. He could have held onto that and at least forced a 50-50 into a position where uh, it's not going to go in net. Usually, if you just sit with the ball in front of you, it's not really going to go on target most of the time when you make like a 50-50. At, at the very worst, it'll go over your net. But it won't be going in off that touch. Make it clear on the field. Schmed's last. So just wait for this touch. Try, try to sit midfield. I saw my teammate go, so I want to hit that pretty high up instead. Um, once there's two people committed in the backfield... I see Risky's going to want to stay with this. Decent. Schmed's going to go for this. I'm going to stay with this. Just get in the way. Once the guy uh, side flips out of the way, I know that the ball's going to be released. Teammate is going up for that when I'm third man there. It's not the greatest. I'll go for it again here. Conserve my boost so I get a big boom off the half volley off the wall. And I can just move back for some boost pads. There we go. Get a block. Good try for my teammate. A little bit awkward the shot. Oh, and it's in. Both my teammates pushed into the corner when they need to cover that shot. And uh, they weren't ready, ready to get in the way. You see Volko went off the wall and then flew across. And um, Tav just went into the into the corner as well. So they need to make sure they're ready for that shot. At least try to block something to make it easier for me. Because um, if they force him to throw the ball a little higher, then we could uh, take advantage of that. Should be an open shot for me. End up throwing the ball away. Good of my teammate Tav to uh, force the issue. I think they probably could have made it clear to the corner if they just waited for it, but it was a little bit dangerous for them. Um, I think Schmidt actually would have probably cleared it to their left corner. So, bad double commit by them leads to another goal. I'm so smart, he says. <laughs> Alright, I'm back right. Let's see if we can get another 50-50 in our favor. Don't like that turn for my teammate. He just went off with a 50-50 off the kickoff. Also, slowed the ball down for a free clear for them. Not great either. See if Schmidt makes it clear. Kind of knew my teammate wasn't going to be ready for that extra touch, so I just waited for the touch. Decent touch as well. Could be a shot on target. I know he's not going to go right for target, so I tried to go for the uh, the block after the fact. Um, my teammate tried to commit. When they were the ones with boost there, they have to make sure they're, they're patient. End up wasting all of the boost right there and not able to help me out when I'm zero boost. Bit awkward, but we'll make it work. Hopefully we can win this uh, this last few seconds here. And hopefully avoid a over an overtime. That... Touch wasn't great. Good for my teammate. Hopefully he can finish it. Nice play. Well played. Uh, good positioning from him. I knew there was some space in the midfield because there was two player, players committed. They also bumped each other. So I was just hoping that last player wasn't quite ready. And we get a nice passing play. I love you, he says. <laughs> good play. Make sure I just air roll. I didn't get quite on target. But that's going to be the end of the game there. I probably could have shot that top right corner. Ended up working out because they ended up just clearing the ball down the field. But... Pretty close game there. A little awkward. We had some openings that really shouldn't have happened. And also we had some opportunities that we could have scored as well, including myself. 
But that was a pretty good game. We'll move on to the next one. We got 16 points once again. All right, for the last game, we're halfway up to uh, halfway up 1600 already. And uh, this is way above where I would have started at the last season or at the start of the season. So we're, we're moving into some pretty consistent players. As you can see, the games are getting sweaty. A lot of overtime. Still haven't lost a game, though. I'm going to make the commit happen so Stinky can challenge. Pussy is last right here. He's probably a little bit scared. I probably could have cut that as well if my teammate didn't push up. Push up. <laughs> Oops. Good challenge, Stinky, maybe? Good play. I probably shouldn't have committed for that. It's okay, though. Should be Moosey's ball now. We got Stinky and Moosey. Uh, they're actually partied up. That makes a little more sense. All right. Good touch. Still still his touch. Wait for Moosey to go, maybe? Or not? Okay. Never mind. They didn't want to move back. I pushed up and made him clear. And then my teammates were both in midfield. I see that Moosey ended up pushing up way too far and didn't want to jump for it. Um, I definitely think he should have went for the, uh, the touch off the backboard. He kind of just rotated really wide for no reason. And, uh, since I am first man and it's going to clear over my head, I need to be, I need to have a teammate who's ready for me behind. Stay with this. Round one. Pinch with the, uh, my teammate. It could be on tart. Dude. <laughs> Easiest pinch of our life. What the heck is that? That's sick, actually. That was so cool. Well played. All right. So, so far, I like Stinky. Even though his name is Stinky. Gross. Good 50-50. Good 50-50 with the uh, the other guy here too as well. I'm gonna try and touch it off the ceiling and then try to get a 50-50 with the split. Team needs to move out as soon as possible. I like the touch from Stinky once again. Good try on the block. I can't really go for the uh, back corner yet. I got a little, got a little, little bit mindful of the uh, the positioning of that ball spilling into mid, and now I can go reward myself with the boost after taking care of that defensive position. It'll be an open shot. Nice play from Stinky to get the double free for Moosey, and now we're up a goal already. Really good first solid touch. I like the rotation to try and go for the shot. Didn't boost quite high enough to get the shot on target. But, you know, sometimes when you make a, a an attempted shot, it's enough of a pass. Oh, is that in the net? Oof. It's all good, man. Happens. Um, didn't get a solid contact. I need to make sure I, I uh, flatten on the, the front of my car. Right here. Just went behind. Uh, I think it was Stinky. I'll go back right. Hopefully, Moosey cheats for his teammate. Good. Decent attempt. Moosey's really low boost, but hopefully they can get a, above the other guy. I'm going to try and bump this guy. Ended up bumping him into the touch, which is all right. Big miss. Should be a shot on target. Get a little bit panicky. I'll let Moosey be the new third, uh, second man. Could be a shot here. It's off target. Not a big fan of that because it does go back to the opponents, but Stinky positioned pretty well. Oh, this could be good. Oh, they messed up. I think uh, Hamster really should have made a touch there. Um, he kind of lost control for a little bit. Stinky. But he's playing really well overall. I like that chip around as well. Uh, and then Hamster wasn't quite ready. I'm at the b bottom of the leaderboard, but sometimes it's just better to... Especially as a, a third man of a, of a team of two. It's better just to let them do what they want to do. Um, and hopefully, they have some good chemistry. Ooh, Stinky's popping off. Let's go. Interesting. Let them touch it first. Take a touch off the backboard. Hop around one. Make it awkward. There we go. Moosey, nice play. I like that they sat in mid waiting for that. Um, good opportunity because K Kind Hamster was a little bit slow. And uh, Salcedo was in the corner. Um, and AJ was obviously, or AG wasn't really in a good position. And we get the win. Honestly, not a bad game. Well, another 15 points. Uh, we're past the halfway mark now. And uh, even though it was a quick forfeit, I think the game was pretty solid um, after those first few mistakes. It's always a, a bit of a feeler when you, when you play with new teammates. But Stinky played really well, really popped off. Just like I said, I like the player a little more reserved as as the third man, especially when there's a duo who probably are, you know, either in comms or or used to each other. So they're trying to look for each other. And, uh, you know, Moosey looked pretty good at the end there, covering up our uh, our assists. And honestly, I, I, I liked all three of those games. It was a really solid episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Until next time, have a great day. We'll catch you guys in the next one.